YouTube. Okay. Okay, I think it's 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 okay now. <laughs> Okay, so let me know if you can see me, if you can hear me. Let's go ahead um, with this live stream. So as I was saying, um, when we talk about empathy, it, it goes beyond imagining how somebody feels or feeling sorry. I'm sorry. It, it goes beyond just feeling sorry for somebody, but imagining what the person is feeling and also trying to put yourself in that person's shoes, you know, trying to see how it hurts. You know, when you see how it hurts, then you can you can deal with the person from a an empathetic point of view. So uh, a lot of people, like I said, they confuse um, empathy with sympathy. You know, so having empathy goes beyond just feeling sorry, sorry, and doing nothing about it. You know, but when you have empathy, you're actually wearing. You know, you're 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 putting yourself in that person's shoes and seeing how it hurts. So um, the story I shared earlier about the woman. You know who um, this this woman was driving to her, her um, garage and she saw someone someone on the floor um, in the rain and she had to come out of the car to also lie beside her yes and to support her like to um, hold her hand and um, see how much of a support that she can um, be. To this woman so um i'll be talking about three different types of empathy and it is possible it is actually possible to have more than one at the same time more than one type at the same time the first one i want to talk about is the emotional empathy you know when you feel someone when you feel something because someone else does you know it's it's called emotional empathy of course you might have noticed this when you when you cried after watching a very sad scene you know in a movie you know it's like crying um with someone when you mourn with those that mourn you know the bible talks about it you know you mourn with those people that are mourning you don't just carry on like that's your own business you know so when people are mourning or when when your friend maybe a friend is having a bad time and you are there for them you are holding their hands you know you are crying along with them you are feeling the pain you know like i remember i lost a friend um was it last year yes it was last year he was it was a very tough time for me it was a very tough time you know because i kept on thinking about her mother her siblings you know just putting myself in their shoes and i i cried so much it, it took a lot from me you know i would think about i still think about her you know till this day you know so uh, having empathy goes beyond just um feeling sorry or just yeah just uh saying sorry you know but feeling it you know putting yourself in their shoes crying along with them you know and you know supporting them offering them support as much as possible you know so that is emotional empathy and i also want to talk about another kind of empathy um cognitive empathy if you have watched till this point please go ahead and like this video please like this hey wrong care or oh, down with me. How are you? Where are you watching from? It's good to see you. Hi, shout out to Runke. Hi, babes. What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I just want to talk about um, empathy. Yes, are you a, a content creator? I love to support you. And of course, like, like I always do, I support everyone that comes to my live stream. Um, I watch your videos. I, you know, leave a genuine comment. I subscribe to your channel and support you as much as I can. I share as well. Yes, I try as much as possible to share as, as much as I can, you know. So um, today I was actually talking about, so Ronke, what's your topic about? What's your niche if you have a channel yeah if you have a youtube channel what do you really do on your channel is it a cooking channel let us call that cook those dishes you know anyways um desire i don't know if desire wonder is also here hi desire how are you doing so please don't forget to leave a comment down below so as i was saying um I just talked about emotional empathy you know that is when you cry along with people that are crying you know when you put yourself in their shoes watching from london oh awesome it's morning definitely i'm very sure it's morning <laughs> they're like i think it's about 6 42 a.m it's almost 7 a.m i know the time day brains i know the day brains <laughs> you know yeah so i am um in california 
in US. So it's 10.42 p.m. Wednesday. Yes, it's still Wednesday here. <laughs> so we are still like, I think, eight hours behind you guys. You know, so I want to talk about cognitive empathy. Yeah, so cogn cognitive empathy involves, you know, thinking more than, you know, feeling. You know, cognitive empathy actually means putting yourself in someone else's shoes. You know, when you talk to your friend about something, you know, that is bothering you and you feel understood by that person. You know, when you feel understood, that person kind of like gets it. You know, it's it's often because your friend was using cognitive empathy. And I'll share an example of that to build wealth. Girl, I need to leave on, to start living on your channel. Hi, Raden Panji. Hi. It is good to see you are so supportive. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I see you guys. See you, bro. So wrong care. Oh, wow. Your channel is about um, teaching people to build wealth and gain financial freedom, budgeting, saving. Eh, but do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raden. I see you. <laughs> Ronke, you'll be seeing me on your channel now, now, like out of my life. I shall be hopping onto your channel. <laughs> Trust me. Anyways, as I was saying, so I was talking about having cognitive empathy. You know, it, it involves, you know, um, thinking more than feeling. You know, when you talk to someone, like a, a friend called me today and a very elderly friend called me today and said, I need your take on this thing. So, 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 you know, somebody did something to me. How do you think I can react in that situation? And after I spoke with her, she was like, girl, like she had, her morale was down, you know, when she was talking to me, she wasn't so feeling so confident. But by the time I'm done, I was done. I hyped her up like, girl, <laughs> there are over 7 billion people on this planet. Don't allow one person. To, to, to rent a space in your head. You know, you are greater. You are you are made for more. You know, oh, Raden Panji, you're busy. Stay home. Nice. You know, so I told her, please, 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 whoever is your friend, if, if this person is truly your friend, and your friend should value you, your friend should, should appreciate you and treat you as such. You're a queen. You're a dope queen. And nobody should treat you less than who you are. You know, by the time I was done talking to her, she was like, oh my God, I feel like a superstar. I said, yes, that's what, you, that's what you are. You know, so I, I was able to feel what she was feeling. I was able to put myself in her shoes and help her navigate out of, you know, the situation that she was in at the time she called me. Yeah. So cognitive empathy involves thinking, you know, more than feeling, you know, you're thinking more than feeling. You're putting yourself in that person's shoes. And I told her, this is what I would do if I were in your situation. This is exactly, and that's the truth. You know, this is exactly what I'm going to do if I was in your situation. And the third one I want to share is the compassionate empathy. You know, um, the compassionate empathy is any kind of empathy that leads to action. Yes. So the compassionate empathy is any kind of empathy that really leads to action. So when you see someone in need and you offer that person some food or money, that is compassionate empathy. Yes. That is compassionate empathy. When you actually do something, you take action. You know, it's any kind of empathy that leads to action. You know, so um, it could be setting up a food bank or contributing to a food bank or calling, getting a, a, a group of friends of yours together, you know, so that you guys can raise funds and be part of, a, you know, support a good cause. You know, for something, it, it could be exactly what I said. It could be having a food bank, having a food pantry for people who cannot afford, you know, three square meals every day and supporting them as much as possible. I personally, I am, thank you, Raden. Thank you so much for liking this. Please don't forget to like my, my um, videos. Yes. And don't forget to check out my video. I dropped a video earlier today. Please check it out and leave your comments as well after watching. You know, so I personally, I am looking for an NGO to partner with. Um, but my own, um, I would love to support an NGO with um, education. Uh, mine is centered around education for girls. Yes, the girl-child education. I have a passion for ensuring that the girl-child stays educated. Yes, because I, I know for sure that when you educate a woman, you educate a community. When you educate a woman... You can be rest assured, you know, that 
her kids, you know, her family, you are welcome, Raden, you are welcome, you know, so you can be rest assured, please follow Raden, if you haven't, check out his channel, let's support ourselves as much as possible, support Room Care, or then with me, support, you know, um, Desire Wonder, let's support ourselves, you know, I myself, I'm going to lend my support most definitely, you know, so um, I want to talk about different examples of empathy in different situations, so if you're here, if you're hopping on, if you have a YouTube channel, leave your channel, I want to support you, you know now, you know your girl, <laughs> you know, so um, I also want to talk about another way by which you can, you know, um, offer empathy to someone, you know, is when a, fel when a friend feels it's test, you know, um, you can, imagine that you're a student you know and a friend in your class failed a test and is is feeling really hard really really bad about it and it's really um i've actually come across a friend of mine long long ago long ago i think about 15 years ago if i'm not wrong no it's more than 15 years ago it's more than 15 years ago you know um this friend of mine failed an exam and I didn't even know that he was planning to commit suicide. Yes, that was the first time I stopped someone from committing suicide. You know, because he failed, people just left him, his friends and his previous class just kind of ignored him like, oh, please, this one, this one is dumb. You know, that's the way it was for him at the time, you know, and everybody deserted him. He had no friends again. And then he, he, he came to me and then he told me that he... <sighs> He just couldn't cope. He was feeling really, really down. And then I said, um, hey, hi, Bridget. Thank you so much for joining me. Shout out to, to Bridget Oladipo. Please go ahead and support her channel. You need to see her content, hear her speak. And she dropped a video earlier today. Please go ahead and watch her video. Yes, and please, please, please like, subscribe, and share this her video as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. You know, so this friend of mine told me um, at the time that he failed his exam and he was really feeling he was down because all his friends had left him. So I was able to talk to him. I talked him out. He was depressed. I talked him out of depression and it was much later that he told me that he was, he was planning to commit suicide. Yay. Good to have you. You are, how is Dubai today? Yes, happy new month, happy new month. May this month bring us plenty, plenty, plenty blessings. Plenty blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, so this month is going to be filled with joy, with peace, with, with greatness for all of us and our loved ones. May, may July be filled with happiness, with positivity, with progress, with opportunities, with kindness, and with love in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. It's really good to see you today. You know, so like I was saying, you know, so this, um, I was able to talk him out of depression and thankfully he didn't commit suicide. Thankfully, you know, it was much later. He told me that if I hadn't spoken with him that day, that he wouldn't have existed again. Yes. Right. And please check out Bridget. She is the bomb. Yes. Check her out. Please check out her videos. Please, please watch her videos. I'm sure you love her blogs and her videos. You know, she's very, she's a very, very, very um, religious, like, you know, she's God-fearing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you, Ronke. I didn't even know you were still there. Thank you so much, Ronke. Oh, there me. Thank you. You know, so another way by which you can also um, offer empathy is, yeah, apart from if it maybe a friend fails a test or fails an exam, you know, you can be there for them, talk to them, don't make them feel like they're alone, you know, make them understand that the fact that they failed the exam doesn't mean that they are dumb, it doesn't mean that they are less than who they are, you know, they are actually, actually made for more, yes, and there is greatness in every single person, you know, so, no, you know, <laughs> sorry, my husband is here trying to distract me. Anyway, <laughs> talk now. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> oh my, okay. So as I was saying, so you can offer empathy, you know, in so many ways. Um, and another way by which you can also offer empathy, especially um, when it comes to, 
when it comes to you know the workplace you know professionally it could be an overwhelmed co-worker you know maybe you have a co-worker that is always complaining or there's too much you know they the the person is just being asked to do much much more than than necessary and you know that this this worker or this your um colleague is having just way too much work to do. I remember I've been in that situation. You know, for me, I'm able to relate because I've been in a situation whereby um, I did a lot. Like I, I, like I spent the whole day, you know, trying to get things done. I used to work in a bank, and it was so bad. I didn't go home. I didn't go home. Um, it, on a Friday, I had to resume. On oh yeah, Raden Panji. Yeah, let's unite regardless of race, ethnicity, religion via YouTube. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it should be, brother. That's how it should be, right? And, you know, so um, when it comes to, you know, talking to a, a worker who is overwhelmed, I have been overwhelmed before with work. I thought I was a hard worker until I got a job at the bank and the work, the work was actually endless. It wasn't like it seemed endless. I didn't go home to sleep on a Friday. I had to sleep very close to the office just so that I would resume. Yeah, just so that I would resume work on Saturday morning. I resumed work on Saturday morning, 7 a.m. I left the office around 12, 12, 12 mid. Trust me, bankers, we work like crazy. You know, at that time, we had this crazy target coming from the head office. We had to open crazy amount of, of accounts, you know, and I was opening accounts at the time. You know, so I... I didn't go home. I went home around 12 a.m. Yeah, of course, as a staff, you can go through the back and then, you know, leave at any time as long as you are a full staff. You know, so 12 a.m. and I was back in the office around 6.30 in the morning. And then I started on Saturday. And normally, we, we shouldn't even work on Saturdays. You know, so I worked on Saturday. I worked from morning to the same time again on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the same thing. I don't think I've ever worked for anyone like that in my life. You know, I worked again on Sunday. And then on Monday, that was the last straw for me. That was that was the defining moment for me. And then on Monday, I was talking to my um, supervisor, my CSM at the time, customer service um, manager. And then I was talking to her. I was trying to show her all the accounts. And I'm very fast. Like, I'm extremely fast when it comes to opening an opening account. So I told her, I've opened this large number of accounts. And guess what she said? It's not enough. Like, you didn't do enough. That was it for me. That was it for me. I was I was done. There, there was nothing anybody could tell me at that point. I was extremely overwhelmed. I was, and it was bad enough that she wasn't empathetic. She didn't even consider the fact that I didn't have a life all through the weekend. I couldn't go to church. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, Nigerian banking sector is crazy. Oh my god. I love the professionalism and corporate preference. <laughs> did you also work in a bank, Bridget? Did you also work in a bank? Yeah, the corporate preference was nice and the professionalism, but man, the work was crazy, you know. So ever since that time, I knew it wasn't. I knew I wasn't. I wasn't cut out for it. it. I wasn't. It wasn't just for me, you know, because you're gonna put in your all, your best, and they will still tell you it's not good enough. I was overwhelmed, and it was official. So, um. I requested that someone else, because I couldn't do everything, it was like me doing the work of like 10 people. So I requested that someone has to be sent to the branch to, you know, also assist. And so I waited. They told me, oh, there's somebody coming tomorrow. Somebody is coming. Tomorrow will come. I will, I will see this person. Somebody is coming next week. I will wait again. They enter. You know, I, my hopes were like, ah, I had high hopes of that. Oh, thank, thankfully, when this guy comes, I mean, whoever it is, a guy or a lady, when this person comes, at least the, the workload will reduce because it was just, I had no life again. I became, I became sad. Honestly, I became sad. I don't even care about the money again. <laughs> You know, so <laughs> I didn't want just to my admire bankers. Ah, the top notch is too much. We're just on point, always on point. <laughs> you know, so um eventually when the guy, when um somebody came to join our team, if you see the way <laughs> I the way I behaved that day, I behaved like a crazy person. I was extremely happy. I was I was almost rolling on the floor, like so you are here. But he didn't understand why I was rolling on the floor. I was happy that somebody is there to take over. And I was, me, I was ready to leave that unit. Because, man, I cannot do it again. I can't. Eh? 
PPO, I could not do it again. You know, and so that was how I I left that unit. I left that because that unit actually takes your smile away. Your smile fades away. You never laugh again in your life. Like you forget what it means to laugh or to smile because they will keep, like they will overwhelm you with work. You know, so at that point in time, I needed someone who would, you know, have empathy. I needed someone who would understand what it means to be overwhelmed with work. But unfortunately, my supervisor was just, she was still, she was kind of like, um, it was impossible to please her. And I'm like, I'm sorry, if I cannot um, please you, um, I mean, if, if, you, if you're not happy with what I've done, with how much work I put into this, into this, then I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. If my best is not good enough, then I'm sorry. You know, um, Raden Panji said, we are reminded that there's a virus. Now is the time, okay, now is the time for us to respect each other. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so another way by which we can support ourselves, you know, maybe in the workplace is um, when, it, when an employee is having a bad day, you know, do you, are you someone that can, is easily relatable? Are you someone that somebody can just walk up to and say, hey, I'm, I'm going through this and um, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to navigate it. You know, so we can show empathy, you know, by supporting by being there for people, by trying to put ourselves in that person's shoes, by not cutting the person off, by not by not trivializing whatever the person is going through, you know, by making the person feel that they are loved, they are cared for, they are wanted, they are, you know, um, they are, their needs are felt, you know. So um, another way by which we can also support people is um, maybe a client struggling with a loss. You know, there are so many times, yes, I'm a fashion designer here in California, and there are certain times that I've seen, you know, I've had to express empathy, you know, with some of my clients, especially my good clients. Maybe something happens and you're like, okay, you know what? Don't worry about pain. You know, don't worry. It's not a question of um, pay later. Just don't worry about pain. I know you need this thing and right now it's not so convenient, but it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. I'll write it off as an expense, you know, so yes. So, so sometimes, you know, we, we can offer support to other people, you know, like if somebody is struggling with a loss, um, you can also help by um, buying, you know, buying more from that person or telling your friends. Yeah. Uh, yes. We can also show empathy by being understanding and not judging people. Yes. 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 That is very true. Thank you so much. That's Bridget. You know, we can show empathy by not judging people by being understanding of their plights because the truth is we don't have the same um background we don't have the same orientation we don't have the same upbringing so our experiences are different so we should always allow give lapses you know allow people allow room for you know those checks and balances you know so um sometimes all we need to do is just to offer that um just just be understanding towards people and then another way by which we can also um offer empathy is maybe when friends are trying to endure a breakup you know you can be there for them you know don't try to make it worse than it already is yes so so we can be there for them and then maybe when a spouse is sick or when a close friend is sick you know you can offer empathy by you know being there for them cooking for them bringing meals for them, you know, taking care of them, you know, making sure that they are very, like, they are okay, like, their, their lives is, you know, still moving on as usual, as it should be, yes, and another way, I know this is a very, very uncommon way, an, an uncommon method of showing empathy, but it's kind of common in this part of the world where I live, which is putting an animal to sleep, you know, when people have dogs and their dogs have been sick for a long time or the dog is very ill, you know, or the dog is dying, you know, people actually put them to sleep. Putting them to sleep means, you know, they would take the the um, dog to the vets and then they would put the they would put the, the dog to sleep. Put the dog to sleep means they would like take the life, you know, but they call it put it to sleep <laughs> yes putting an animal to sleep yes and then the owners will cry and cry and cry it was when i came to us that i heard about that you know so yeah we can also show empathy <laughs> in that way so when you're putting an animal to sleep <laughs> you know it's also um a way of of showing empathy so um yeah all i'm just trying to say is when we help people to feel less alone 
you know, when we are there for people, because I know that showing empathy is an important way to build strong relationships and be a good friend. And ultimately, people feel less alone when you when they know that you understand their perspective. And that is what empathy is all about. So I hope with these few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you can actually show empathy in different ways, in various ways, you know, and together we can all make the world a better place. Thank you so, so, so much for watching till the very end. I remain your girl, Chassis. And if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be more than happy to support you as well. So for all of you that join my live or catching the replay, I will be more than happy to support you. Just all you need to do is just leave a comment and I will trace your your um, YouTube channel and I will support you as much as I can. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you again next Saturday by God's grace. So have a beautiful, beautiful day. Happy new month. God bless you. Bye for now.